night just emerged her condition is improving and she's been moved out of intensive care. The rider who was critically injured has also tonight regained consciousness. Kira Riddell reports. This is the crash which sparked a chain of events that nearly cost two people their lives. One a racer, the other a spectator. The dramatic footage shows the frightening scene that left four people injured, two critical. The onboard cameras catch the mayhem which ensued. Violet McAfee was watching the race with friends in the driveway of this house when one of the bikes broke apart, hitting a car and then her. She suffered serious head and leg injuries. There's still evidence of this accident here today. There's engine oil spilled here on the footpath, but such was the impact of this crash that it completely took out the lamppost. There was a moment after the first bike crash, you could have heard a pin drop. It was just silence, absolute silence, and people were just staring in horror. She was critical, but the uh, pupils and uh, the movements and stuff were positive. Um, they said that the pupils and stuff wouldn't be happening to the test that they were doing, but there was a possibility they would be doing damage. Violet McAfee is believed to be the first spectator to have been injured in a crash at the Northwest 200. Safety concerns have now been raised about racing through residential areas. We will look at this incident and see, yes, could, is there anything more could be done? It looks like a freak accident. As I say, it, it's the first serious accident I've had to uh, speak here in, in my time in 15 years. And if there are further uh, safety requirements required, then we will look at them and put those into place. Violet McAfee remains in intensive care in hospital. Her family say she loves the Northwest 200 and wouldn't want to see it end. Well, you know, just when I fell apart, I just kind of thought, I, I, I just couldn't concentrate on what I was doing. Even though this is happening to families, I don't think I'd like to see the races stopped because of that. Yes, it's dangerous, but those, that bike is, it sits in their blood. The McAfee family have paid tribute to the medical team on site on Saturday. Organisers say a full investigation is now underway. Kira Riddell, BBC Newsline, Port Stewart.